tri-state forecast that's independently certified most accurate. Here's Chief Meteorologist Kevin Robinson. All right, tonight's full moon once again over my shoulder here. This is, makes the third what we actually call super moon of the summer here. And it's fairly rare that we get this many of them lined up back to back. But this one's fairly significant because not only is it a super moon, but it's also known as the harvest moon. And that's right on schedule. When you think about harvest, you probably start to think about fall like weather. And that's exactly what's going to get in here. But it's not going to happen, though, till the very end of the week. Outside right now tonight, 66 degrees. We've got the winds on the calm side. and. That dew point still very low, very comfortable at this hour in the mid 50s out there. So let's talk headlines here as we go through the next couple of days because really tomorrow's not going to be a bad day at all. Matter of fact, Tuesday or Wednesday don't look so bad around here. Both days stay on the warm side. We have to wait till overnight Wednesday, really, or late, at least late Wednesday night, that is, for any showers or thunderstorms. That's with that cold front. And then as we get into Thursday and Friday, yes, we'll see it slightly cooler, but the real brunt of the cool air is not going to get in here. Until we get into the weekend, it looks like by Saturday you will really feel the cool air, and probably by Saturday night, I would imagine that some of you will have jackets, if not some sweaters, out as we head into the upcoming weekend. It is going to be much cooler around here. Across our neck of the woods, it's fairly warm tonight. We're keeping an eye on this cold front that's up near the U.S. Canadian border. That's what's going to take pretty much all week to kind of swing its way down towards the Ohio River Valley. If you look closely there, you may even see a little bit of snow in parts of western Canada. Just gives you an idea. Idea of how chilly some of that air will be. And I'm showing you this temperature map of the upper Midwest because, again, still fairly warm. Lots of 60s and 70s until you get right up to the U.S. Canadian border where you see Minot at 53 and you see those darker blues behind that. That's the leading edge of the very cold air. And of course, we'll be tracking it as we go through the upcoming week. Outside tonight, temperatures, well, they really range depending upon your location. Farther east, there's more clouds tonight and slightly higher levels of humidity, so temperatures are a little bit warmer. For example, look at Peebles at 71, it's 68 in Hillsboro, 65 in Wilmington. But once you get back into southeast Indiana, skies are clear and where the air is a little bit drier. Look at this, 59 in Versailles, 58 in Batesville, 59 in Harrison. So it will be a split with temperatures tonight. It will be a little bit warmer, closer to 60 the farther east you are. And then west of 75, for example, probably down into the mid-50s for lows tonight. So call it an average of between 55 and 60 for most of us. And then tomorrow, expect plenty of sunshine. Tomorrow will basically be a repeat of today. Very comfortable temperatures. Everyone generally in the low to mid 80s out there. So here's a look at future casts. Again, tomorrow there could be some clouds, especially the farther east you head. But all in all, it's a nice day. Should turn out to be quite comfortable. Tuesday night is very quiet. There will be showers and storms off to our north and west, like Detroit to Chicago, over towards St. Louis during the day on Wednesday. But it will take until Wednesday night for showers and storms to actually make it into the tri state. Here's 8 o'clock Wednesday night. Notice as we go on out in time there, the threat for showers and storms will overspread the area overnight Wednesday into Thursday. There's a slim chance that a few of the storms could contain some gusty winds Wednesday night. And of course, we'll be keeping an eye on it and tracking it. 57 for a low tonight. Watch out for that patchy fog, especially in the river valleys in the morning. Then tomorrow, 83, sunny and nice. Here's a look at your day planner for your Tuesday. Temperatures will start out around 60. We'll climb into the low 80s during the afternoon. And there's your seven day forecast. Wednesday will be the warmest day of the week. There's your slightly cooler weather. Thursday and Friday before it turns real chilly, at least our first real taste of fall weather this weekend. All right, Kev, before the All Star.